Hello, and welcome back to another chapter in the story of this land in my cabin. I really hope everyone's doing well. The Trillium love this one section of the ravine. Um, it's crazy, this, uh, this little like 100 square foot area has all the Trillium. Here's two. Most of them are growing on the southeast side of the bank, but these guys here growing on this side. We did get a tiny bit of rain this week, so the stream's running a little bit more than it was. Um, some people want me to come out here after a really heavy rain, show you guys, but we just haven't got one yet, but I will. Got some new flowers popping up. Gonna have to go home and try to identify them. All right, let's take a look at what we got done. So obviously last trip we did that and we got all the way up to the ceiling. And then I started over here. And that's how much we got done until I ran out of wood. And then we'll still have to do this wall with something and then we'll do the same thing over here and there we go Let's see if we can get this all in the same frame there we go this is like a really wide angle so everything looks crooked just because of the camera 
because of the lens. All right, so I ran out of that pine and nails. So I think I'm gonna hit a couple spots on the shingles outside on the bedroom that I missed. So I'll probably work on that now and we'll see what time that puts us at. All right, let's go outside. We'll show you what we're gonna work on now. Just up there, just those couple. I uh, thought I could reach them from where the scaffolding was set up on the back here and I couldn't reach it, so I'll just do it now with the ladder. And then if you're wondering why there is no sound, first half of my video, this, this Tackstar microphone, it works really good, but it has an on-off switch. And if you're prone to forgetting anything, then I don't suggest it for you because I can't tell you how many times I forgot to turn the damn thing on. So we'll get the dead cat moved over and get started. wasn't too bad that went actually faster than I thought it would so uh, next thing I'm gonna work on I got some window trim that I made and I didn't put together because it was for that double window and I wanted to make sure it would fit right so I think I'm gonna put that together and paint it and we'll see how fast the paint dries maybe I'll get it up before I leave So when I'm like staining or painting, I really like the rough side out because it, it takes the stain or the paint better. I accidentally um, cut the bevel on the wrong side on this one, so I got the smooth side out in this middle one. 
but the rest of them are rough side out. I used to do a little bit of painting in high school up in New England and every once in a while you'd come across a place where, where someone would accidentally put the smooth side of clapboard siding out and it was always a nightmare for them. This is a stain, by the way, it's a solid color stain. It's uh, called like dark alder or something, or black alder. Black alder, Sherwin-Williams. So I have another piece that's a cap for this that I need to make. Um, so it'll come out a little bit and just kind of cap this off. I ran out of poplar when I was making this long enough, so I had to bring some more home. start putting some tools away, let this dry for a bit and we'll just get it up there and see how it looks. That looks all right. All right, so this is the one that I put on a couple uh, couple weeks ago, maybe months, I don't even know. You guys remember that bird's nest? He's, uh, he, that I moved? He took up residence right in there. <laughs> he on my windowsill, but I guess that's all right. All right, let's go look at this one I just did. So this, this looks, this looks all right. We're gonna get the cap on there, and there's some areas where the shingles are showing on the inside of the trim, which that shouldn't happen. So I'll probably just touch that up with a paintbrush um, and just paint it the same color as the sill, and it'll just kind of blend in there. And then we'll get, I can't even get the camera work over there, but we'll get a, we'll get a little cap. I can't even get it to focus. Anyway, we'll put the cap on. Getting there. Getting there slowly. All right, well, we got a couple tasks performed today. You know, forgot the volume. This video was a mess, but you know, you can't spend a bunch of time on every single video because honestly, it's like what you make off of YouTube. It's not. It's not worth the uh, time you put in. You do this stuff because you like it. So that's why I'm doing it. And uh, so some videos are a little sloppy. This is probably one of those ones that's just kind of updating you on the progress. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching.